Hello, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to make this witch's cauldron with step-by-step -step instructions. So to start with then we need a, a sponge that's been in the fridge, jam and butter cream, so it's set nice and firm so it's easy to carve with. And because it's going to be a cauldron it needs to have like that goldfish bowl um, kind of look to it. So I know that I need to have a smaller one here, so really this one's too big, so I'll probably just go out in there. So you need to just go on the outside just a little bit like you can see there. So if you carve, and I could say probably about here, and then always have a pot handy as well to throw all your, all your scrap bits in. I'm not too bothered about the bottom bit at the moment because I can shape that again after. So I've got my rough shape at size at the bottom that I can see there. And then to do the top bit. Now this needs to be a little bit wider. So I'll probably go about there. And then just take the carving down. As I'm carving round, you want to be carving kind of like that. Can ash can I make it more perfect for you? That's good to get started with. Ganache on my board. That's there for a second. I'll clear this. Right, I'm going to put a little bit of ganache, just keep that in place there. Not too worried about if it's got any lumps or bumps in it. So, and place that on top, just press down slightly. Put this underneath it. And then, let's get it covered with a ganache. So I'll start making sure I've sealed it, the board nicely. So that's nicely sealed there. I'll just go around the, the rest of it and down the bottom. So as you're working down the bottom the cake, you want to be bringing your palette knife in a bit more like, instead of going straight like you would do on a normal cake, you want to curve it in a little bit. So you can see just like that. So you get that nice bold look. Now if you get one of the flexi smoothers, well that's the type one, uh, they're easy enough to hold and to, to curve a little bit. So what you want to be doing is kind of going around like so. Get rid of the, the scrapings of ganache each time. And you can see 
where I've curved it in at the bottom there a little bit. So I'll hold it like, like that so you can see it curved. And then just take it round. Don't worry if you've got some gap to begin with because you can always fill those in afterwards. Well, that is looking quite good. So I'll try and tilt that a little bit and you can see the shape of it. So it's like a bowl, okay. So I'll just cling film that now. And then this will go in the fridge for about three to four hours. It's only a little cake, but I need it to be nice and rock solid. Or while it's in the fridge, you can be working all on the other little bits that we're going to be showing you. So that's ready for the fridge. So while the cake is in the fridge, um, chilling and firming up nicely for us before we can cover it, we're going to cover the board. I've just got some grey here. It's always left over from um, when I've iced cakes. So that's what I normally ice my boards with, leftover paste. That's okay. Yep. And what I have here is a um, pebble and stone mat from the old piping bag. And all I'm going to do is just gently press this in just to give it a nice stony look. lines just go in the middle of that just trim off the excess ideally as well this is something that you can do a couple of days in advance I always get my boards done normally a week before so they're nice and dry for when I come to put the cake on top so there's that so finished there so what I'm going to do is just lightly dust it so I'll just get some paint here and this, this does get messy this so I always make sure the area is covered okay because I don't want it to be black I'd like it to be like a smoky colour Where it's the cauldron, obviously, there's a bit of a soot and what have you. And that done like that, so that's ready for me to put the cake on in shortly. Right, then, so we've got the cake ready now that's been in the fridge. This has been in the fridge overnight, so it's nice and firm for me to, to work on. Do is just flip this over like so. So that's the top part, and then just get some tricks. So not too bothered about it not looking perfect in the middle here because it's the water. So that's there. So this is the top, like I said. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to roll out some paste to begin with make it green I'm going to roll it over this the mat here again this is an old piping mat it's good for bubble effects as well as grass and, and what have you so hopefully Just 
place it on the top. Make sure you've got no air bubbles. And you need some grease proof on top. I just realised that the bubbles can probably come out a bit while it's upside down, but you can do that again afterwards. And then just flip it over. And then just trim it. Punch a needle here just to get rid of the air bubbles. And then that up. So I'm making sure it is nice and sealed to the bottom and that there's no air bubbles in there at all. Sell to the top. about the bottom of that because that's not going to be not going to be seeing that let's get one of these um uh, flexi smoothers and then i can just go around and you can probably see that i've curved it a little bit that being not too perfect because all the the goo and the gunk again I just want to make these a bit more rounded so that it does look like the bottom of the cauldron some brown. You can have brown or black uh, for 
for this. I have a four inch uh, cake drum and that's going to sit on top of this. So when we flip it up, it's going to look raised. So all I need to do for this is Perfect, it's just covering the board basically. So, we have our board here. So, ideally, that would just be sitting in the middle, so a little bit of so just grab yourself a little bit of raw icing. This is a Renshaw's ready-made icing. Don't need to have too much. And then do like so, it's down. And then again, don't have much just to seal the, the cauldron onto it. sausage is going to be the rim of your cauldron you can see that's perfect I've got a pin here, this is the pin that I always insert when I, I see the front of a cake. So I know that's going to be the front of my cake because that's the best angle. So what I'll do, I'll do the join right here. Because then we can have a nice bit of goo coming out then as well. from it. Then push it in. Make sure it is nice and sealed. That's that bit done. Now we need to do the the hooks on the side. out a bit. Just a 
little bit thinner. So we can use a tiny bit of glue. So we get this bit on first. So there's our front, so they need to be. side <laughs> done the trick there I'm not too bothered if they're gonna um, I don't want them really to have the look that they're stuck on I really want them to have the look that they're just hanging there as you can just see there If this was dry, there's a quite a bit of moisture in the air today, I could put a little bit of um, kitchen cloth underneath there so that they were raised a little bit, but the cloth is going to stick to that today. So we're not, not a good idea to do that today. So the next bit what we want to be doing is just around the log bits and hole bits around the bottom. So I'll just grab a little bit of black and grey. Makes that into like a marble. I love a look. So, again, roll it into a sausage. So, we've got a fat one and we've got um, a skinnier one. So now we're going to be making the flames. So we also we have the three colours for flames. So I'm just going to chop these into the Go 
Okay. Okay, so obviously the red needs to go around the bottom a bit. So I'm just gonna tuck that in. doing this as well as you can see because when you push that down onto there it's going to give it that wave not wave but the flame look so as well make a few little dents in there I'm confident doing that like just roll it So, once you've done that all the way around, you want to put the stones close up to it. So, hopefully, Concentrate on the top part. That we need to um, oops, that over there. So for the witch's legs, we need some orange and we need some purple. So I'll just warm that up a little bit. the same with the purple. Orange. 
but don't worry about these not being absolutely perfect. All I need to do is just push these together like so. And then just take your knife and go straight down the middle. So we have that. And then just roll it a little bit. Take both sides, it doesn't matter which side you do it. And we're going to use these cake pop sticks for the witch's legs. So we want them to be probably about that long with the leg sticking out because you're going to have the boot on the end and then this is going to be sticking into the cake. So, a bit more. And I think actually that, that that will probably do both of them. So I'll just cut that there. Bring the mat in. And I just a tiny bit of glue. bit longer there as well that there that is almost going to join so what I'll do is just take it around just a little bit more and then just trim it Let's bring it back onto your mat and just gently roll it find it's coming apart a little bit, all we need to do is just pinch it very slightly, like so. And there you have one leg. So like I say, it's going to be sticking out, so you want it to be quite um, long. I might just roll it just a wee bit more because I don't need too much of the, at the other end for the boot. Now I know you can see the join here, right there, but when you're going to be sticking it into the cake, you'll have the join at the back so you won't see it. So that's one. And then there, so I can just trim that little bit there. I'm going to move that up just slightly. that's her legs that we need to do now is make the boots so just roll a bit of paste to begin with point because which is shoes always pointed aren't they so you can see like that okay and I'll do the other one at the same time so that they are the same size that one's just a tiny bit 
smaller. So I'll add some more paste into that. It's the trouble when you're working with black, your hands do get stained quite a bit. Okay, so I'll just push that down like that. I'm not too bothered about getting the shaping of that to begin with. So all I need to do is this and then cut and like that. So you're getting the shape of the shoe. I'm not gonna do it like that because you'll see why in a second. And then just shape it round. curl it at the same time so you can push it in a wee bit more so there's one you've got to make sure it's quite deep here so that when you put the straw on it or the the cake pop it's not going to stick out too much This is so that it's not going to lose its shape too much when I put it over the, the cake pop. So that bit goes on first. Remember that this bit's going to go at the back, so you want your shoe to be coming like this. So just push that in, holding the sides, don't be holding in the end a bit too much, because then you're just going to lose the shape of your shoe. And then you can just pull that around like that. So you can see you have one, and then really bike it up. So there's one. So this one, you want to make sure the foot is going that way. So get that on. Again, make sure that is at the back. Pushing that down. And then get this one. And when it's on, that's when you can shape it a bit more. I'm quite happy with them like that. Push that one a bit more, like so. So there you have your, your two witches' legs. Now you can put them into your cake. Here. Remember that I have the pin so that I know it's the front of the cake as well. And then I can have one like so. Use a pliers just to push it in a bit more. There we go. And then we'll have the other one. going in like that. Now you start filling all these bits in with all bits and bobs that you can do which we'll, we'll do in just a second. Just push that in like that. A little bit of white to begin with here. Then all you need to do 
Let's warm that up a little bit. bones now obviously where these are going to be sticking in you won't have to have the other end so you could just do half a bone just roll it round push a skinny bone if you haven't got one of these Palette knife will do. So, all these little bits they can be made in advance as well. So, all you have to do is just bake the cake and decorate it. I want some eyeballs. Okay, these don't all have to be the same size. sticking out Big one here. Okay. then you want to be making lots of these green little balls on that now These don't have to be perfect either. Okay, so now that we've got them there, let's move those over to the side a little bit, bring them back the cake. Got some um, edible piping gel here. Just so it can give it that um, nice shiny gooey look. So I'm just gonna give it a bit. This is by Clear Me, this one. Not what I normally get. It's like a, a good glue as well, so. I 
before I start adding all these in, I'm going to do a little witch's hat as well. So that'll fill the gap up a little bit more. Do my hands, like so. Mark it a little bit. See how she told us to. Maybe stick that in. And I'll start adding the fat ones first because I think they're good ones for filling all the space up. Like lots of peas. And then just do it here look let's just start adding the a few of the little bits in. So we'll bring the eye to the nib there. Pull these in. I okay, think we'll put a couple of these down on the board. Turn it around the back so we can just fill in these back bits. So then you just take your I just want to give it a little bit of a shine so it looks really gooey. Right then, eyeballs. here as well couldn't we so
These are pens I buy at Fractal. They're really good pens for what we're doing. Now, obviously, these are a lot easier to do when they're out. But um, I forgot to do them. What we do now is we just get some tape to stick the ribbon on. to it maybe just some pumpkins <laughs> 